Hey guys, hey family, welcome back to another video. Um, this video, I'm going to be showing you some of my hermit crab um, enclosure that I have. Um, don't mind my hair because I'm working and stuff. But um, I'm going to show you my hermit crab, hermit crab enclosure, the way I have it set up. Um... I will be getting another hermit crab enclosure for them. I don't know when, but I'm going to get one. Um, but yeah, their names are Harry and Larry. We got them. Um, it's been, we've been having them for a, a little over a year now. This is their enclosure. I have greenery. Um, this is like little greenery plant. Little whatever plant they like to climb on. Um, I just got this one. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, so I just put this in today, and this is their ladder that they love to climb on. Um, this is their coconut hide. Um, I have them uh, driftwood right here that my godson caught when we went fishing. Um, so I'm gonna show you some of their stuff. I have their 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 gauge. Um, one is for humidity, and one is the temperature. Um, with them, you want their humidity to be, um, they're pretty humid, humid animals, so they like humidity. Um, don't know too much about them, but I'm just showing y'all. Um, this right here is their freshwater tank. This right here is their salt water. Now, their salt water solution that I use, um, this is their, for their soaking, this is their salt that I put in it's um, one teaspoon for a cup of water so um, if y'all want to see how I mix this um, put a comment below and I can show y'all exactly how I clean their tank out and set it up but I'm just giving y'all a run through um, so that's that this is salt water that's the fresh water this is for soaking this is for them like basically drinking I guess um, they're coconut hide to hide under they love climbing so of course they're climbing stuff um i spray it down every day um some people say that it's best to use moss i don't know i'm learning a lot about them so um as i go um i add and take away stuff um i also have a little sponge in here if you can see um that little sponge is for them to climb in and out so they don't get stuck in here so right now i'm just spraying misting it down um they like to have the humid this keeps humidity i do it every day um so then i'm going to add their food now there's a couple of things hermit crabs like variety when it comes to food they like a lot of different mixtures of food so when it comes to food i, I try to give them a variety of stuff for hermit crabs um one of the things that i give them is this right here is called red hermit crab color enhancement it has dried carrots dried red uh red bell bell peppers dried cherries in it um i'll also give them this it's like a buffet blend for hermit crabs um it just has their hermit crab mixture in it and it also has like um like river shrimp and mealworms in here so they love 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 that um as well as their regular hermit crab food i give them um and then i also i have a mixture of dried fruit that um that i give them that they really like um so it has they love the raisins um, every time I go to clean their thing out, the raisins are gone. So they love, love, love the raisins. They have banana chips in here. They have coconut. They have pineapple and apples. Um, this is their mixture that I made. So just give them like a little bit of everything. Um, just to give them variety. Because hermit crabs like variety. And one thing I learned about hermit crabs, you don't want to really handle them a lot. Because hermit crabs get scared and they can it can kill them um so don't want to really handle them a lot but i'm gonna show you the mixture i'm gonna open the tops and then i'll show you how much i put in and stuff like that okay i like to give them um their meal first 
So what I do is I come over here and I put a little bit like that so they can have variety. Um, they don't eat a lot. So, yeah. Then I come over here and I add a little bit of this fruit in. Then I come and I add a little bit of this in. And then I add a little bit of this in. And I try to give a little bit of everything, guys, because, like I said, my hermit crabs... Once you have them, you'll know what your hermit crabs like and what they don't like. And everything that I'm putting in here, my hermit crabs, they kill. They eat it, eat it. Um, so I've never really have a lot of food wasted. Um, with hermit crabs, um, I was told to change their food every two days if it's like this, which is freeze-dried. Free so every two days, I'll change it because most of the time, my hermit crabs, they say hidden a lot um my hermit crabs are bigger so they're adults so they um they they're not gonna really molt a lot more i i was told um so yeah so they're not gonna do really do a lot of molting um but that's what I was sold. So, um, closing the containers up. And then I'm going to just put this in their tank. Um, put it. So, my honey crabs, they like to tip stuff over for some reason. So, I like to try to do it so they won't tip it over. So, that's where I put their food at. So, then I'm going to let you meet my infamous hermit crabs the little one is Larry this is Larry um, you gotta be careful because they will that pincher claw right there will pinch you this is Larry that's his shell I'm gonna put him on in and then this is my husband's crab which is my son as well his name is Harry so we have a Larry and a Harry and this is him he is a much bigger crab, if you can tell, and his pincher claw will hurt. He will hurt. So, that's him. Um, so, I'm going to put their shells in. I have some new shells for them as well. I'm going to put that in, and I'll be back. Okay, y'all. So, I got their shells. This is a just a big shell that I got. I like to put in here, mainly for decoration. Um, usually put that over in a hiding. And I'm going to pour this water out because I soaked their their new shells that I got in boiling hot water because to get, mainly to get all of the um, dust and everything off of it. So I, I tried to soak it in hot water. Um, but when I went on vacation, y'all, I got these shells. Um, it says Florida. And my hermit crab, he's about this big, so... I try to put them some variety of shells in here. Um, so I'll have this is another pretty shell that I got for them. I'm gonna put that right there. Then I'll put the other one about like right here or so. So that's it, guys. This is my hermit crabs. Um, this is how I. I clean their tank, not a um, weekly clean, but it's more of a every two day clean. I usually come, mist it down real good, um, and then give them clean food, clean water, rinse their shells and coconut hive, and redo their plants and stuff. Because, like I said, mine they like to climb, so they'll climb all over this. So I like to redo this, and then. I take their top guys we have one of these tanks so their top just slides on like this and this is mesh at the top so 
but that's what it looks like guys after it's messed down and um the substrate that i have in here that fiber um i was told that i can use sand i'm not really sure because i a lot of videos that i did online uh, i mean a lot of videos that i looked at online it was saying that the sand can get clogged into their shells and it'd be hard for them to breathe and stuff and it can kill them they can't come out so let me know if that's true because i wanted to try the sand um because they said it keeps the humid keeps the humidity in there but i've just been a little afraid about doing the sand y'all so let me know down in the comment as well about the sand and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe turn on the bell so every time that i post a video or we post a video you'll be notified and let's get us to 50 50 viewers 50 um, subscribers right now we're at 28 i believe but let's get us to 50 50 might not seem like a big deal to a lot of people but for us it's a big deal because we're on our way we're trying to be consistent we're trying to work harder to do this um again a lot of y'all know that our videos are are truth raw and uncut so we don't edit we don't uh cut anything every what you see is what you get with us so yeah so anyway um for later guys let us know what other videos y'all want us to do i know somebody told us that they wanted us to do like a food challenge um so they wanted us to do um pick some foods that we've never had and try them which we did that already um but somebody wants us to do that we've had people to say they want us to do a spicy food challenge spicy no sorry guys spicy versus sweet challenge so we might do that um in the upcoming videos so just let us know what y'all want all right guys see y'all later peace